Welcome back to Mrs. Jager's Book Nook. Today, we're going to be reading a book about showing and sharing kindness. And this book is called How to Fill Your Bucket for Kids. Now, in this book, our character finds out that everybody has an imaginary bucket. And when you do things that are kind or say things that are compliments or help people who are in need, you're actually filling their buckets. But there's a cool thing too, because when you fill their buckets, your bucket also gets full. So let's read this book about filling our buckets. Felix was putting one of the last blocks on his tower when his little sister came in. I want to build with you, she said. Felix scowled. Go away. You're too little. I'm big. Stay back. You'll knock it over. I'll be very careful. Go play with your baby toys, Anna. Oh, look how she's feeling. Uh-oh. Thwack. Grandpa. Grandpa shook his head. Felix, you just dipped out of your sister's bucket. Like everyone else, Anna has an invisible bucket. And when it's empty, she feels bad. But when she, it's full, she feels great. Did you ever notice your own bucket? Invisible bucket? Hmm. Sometimes Felix couldn't quite tell when his grandfather was joking. But the very next morning when Felix woke up, there it was. A small gray bucket floating above his head. When Felix came down to have breakfast, his mom was in a hurry. I've got a meeting this morning. It's almost time to go. Anna, sit still. Uh-oh, she doesn't sound like her bucket's very full. Felix slipped, and Coco Weedy scattered across the floor. Felix, yelled his mom. You should have used a stool to reach that. Felix could feel his bucket tip and big invisible drops spill out. Drip, drip. Ha <laughs> ha. Anna laughed as she crunched the stereo with her shoe. Drip. Get the broom and clean that up before you miss the bus, scolded mom. With the school boss honking, Felix quickly swept up the cocoa wheats and grabbed the last blueberry muffin. But before he could even take one bite, Buster jumped up and grabbed the muffin from his hand. Drip. Hey, look at Felix's new backpack. My baby brother has the same one. Drip. Psst. Felix. Psst. Drip. Watch out, shrimp. Drip. Look at his bucket. It's not very full. It was still morning and Felix's, Felix's bucket was almost empty. Look at his face. He's feeling upset. Here he is. As he watched his classmates walk into the room, he secretly hoped that they would trip and fall. That's what it feels like when you have an empty bucket. Felix slumped into his seat and waited for something else bad to happen. Mrs. Bumpernickel walked slowly up to his desk and handed him his paper. He could hardly bear to look. Felix, you wrote a wonderful story. Would you please share it with the class? <gasps> Felix grinned and felt a big drop land in his bucket. Drop. The class grew quiet and they laughed at all the right places and ooed at all the scary parts. And when Felix finally read the end, everyone clapped, even Emily who sat next to him and didn't usually like dinosaurs. Felix felt a whole new shower of drops land in his bucket. Maybe one, maybe the day wouldn't be so bad after all. Drop, plop, clink, drop. He got a note from his mom in his lunchbox. It says, I love you, mom. Drop. Team captains today are Veronica and Felix. Drop. Nice cow. It's a dog. Well, nice colors there, Felix. Drop. Cool laser ant backpack, Felix. Drop. Now look at how full his bucket is. This day is really turning around. By afternoon, Felix's bucket was nearly full. And at recess, he looked around. Felix suddenly realized that his grandpa was right. Everyone else had a bucket too. Oh, look. These kids have buckets. Uh-oh. That kid's bucket's kind of getting empty. Look, even teachers have buckets. Let me help you. Drop, drop. <gasps> Wait, there's two drops. Here's your baseball. Catch. Thanks, dude. Drop, drop. Hi, I'm Felix. First day? Yes, I'm Amar. 
drop, drop. The strange thing was that for every drop he helped put in someone else's bucket, he felt another drop in his own bucket. When Felix burst in the door after school, he shouted, You were right, Grandpa. I do have a bucket, and I understand how it works. And then he saw Anna's torn doll. Bad dog, he almost scowled. But then he thought dogs might have invisible buckets, too. Your doll will be okay, Anna, said Felix. Mom will fix her. Aura! Look at how empty her bucket is. Until then, do you want to help me build the tallest building in the world with my blocks? <gasps> that was so kind of him. And so they did. So the cool thing about bucket filling is when you are kind to others, you fill your own bucket. So I hope you enjoyed that one here on Mrs. B Mrs. Jager's Book Nook, and we'll see you again next time.